Good evening, everybody. Welcome to uh, day 16, which is the last day, right? And I'm going to cover today the 16th uh, prosperity today. So I just want to welcome everybody for the session for today. Um, you know, it is it is very important for you to know that when I started this session, it was more to uh, get people to understand that, you know, there's um, uh, to become successful in life, there's just not one or two things. There are many things, and um, I I remember uh, based on the you know um, ancient uh, not ancient maybe five hundred years ago the Indians have started off this saying about you know um, I wish you sixteen prosperity and sixteen prosperity you know and so when I did my own analysis I thought it was amazingly good and this is the reason why um, I've shared this for the last fifteen days and today is the sixteenth day. Uh, today's prosperity actually sums up everything because today's prosperity is number 16, which is success. Uh, and then, so what, what they have said in when, when they came out with the 16 prosperity is that if you have these 15 prosperities, then obviously 16 is by default, you're very successful. So success itself has got different, different definition. And I will run through that with you. But I, I think I think that um, with any other definition I give you about success, like, you know, you've uh, reached this level or you become a billionaire or you have, um, you know, you drive a BMW or, uh, you know, you, you're a CEO of a company or you are like me, I'm a training consultant or, you know, or, you know you've got a big house or a big car, whatever. But I think all that is what uh, we could possibly think as definition of success. But as I, as I, as I do a lot of research on the 16 prosperities, I realize that that success is definitely in our, in our my our context here is you are successful when you achieve these fifteen prosperities, and that's why this is the total sixteen prosperities. Like say, padanarum petru perubalvu valga. Okay, um, achieve the sixteen prosperities and have an amazing life, right? And uh, that's what I was hoping to do. And I, I want to thank all of you who have been with me for the last. Uh, 15 days and today as well, 16 today. I'm very thankful for that, for your support. Uh, let's talk about today's one. So today's one is called success or victory. Victory means success, eh? uh, you know, and we always say um, this is something that is what everybody strives for, yeah? Um, the dictionary says when you talk about success, success means the ability to achieve personal, professional, and life goals, okay? The dictionary says, Success is the ability to achieve personal goals. I mean, personally, you're healthy or, you know, you have, you have money or, you know, whatever personal goals, you know, or your slim trim uh, or, you know, whatever, okay? Uh, professional goals, either in career or business, you achieve success, okay? And life goal. Life goal means uh, you wanted to set up, uh, you know, a, a charity house or you wanted to set up a trust fund in your parents' name or your life goal was to travel to 20 countries or whatever, like, so then I guess it is where you've achieved all this. But again, it's very vague, very vague. But I want to give you an idea how different people who are successful in life define success. And it's amazing uh, because they all have different definition. But of course, the conclusion for our session today is that if you have the 15 prosperities I've covered in the last 15 days, then you achieve today's prosperity, which is success but let's look at it huh? i think all of you know richard branson right so richard branson says true success is based on how happy you are in life how happy you are in life so he says you're only successful when you're very happy in life it doesn't matter what car you drive doesn't matter where you live doesn't matter how much money you have but if you if you have money but you're worried somebody's going to rob you you're driving a car you're worried somebody will scratch it if you live in a house, you worry burglars are going to come in, then you're not successful, right? And you're not through success, right? So he says, true success is based on how happy you are. And I know all of you know Barack Obama, okay, the former uh, president of US. Barack Obama says, true success is the difference you make in people's lives. So he says, if you change people's lives, if you're really able to change people's lives, you're very successful. For me, that could be one of the way I look at my success because there's so many people follow Ho'oponopono or Law of Attraction with the way I teach them. Especially Ho'oponopono, Law of Attraction, there are many people teach, but Ho'oponopono, very few people teach, right? So for me, it could be in that line as well, you know, that I'm making a difference. So Barack Obama says success is when you, um, the difference you can make in people's life. Okay, let's talk about uh, Warren Buffett. 
Warren Buff Buffett or Warren Buffet, but uh, Warren Buffett actually, yeah. He, he, you know, he's the richest man in the world, and one of the richest men in the world, you know, shares and all that. He says, uh, true success is based on how many people like me, how many people love me, not even word li like, he say love me. True success depends how many people love me. That's his definition. Okay, but I, I don't know whether it's a good definition or not, because if you always wait for people to love you, sooner or later you're going to get very upset because not everybody's going to love you, yeah? Deepak Chopra. Deepak Chopra is... Yeah, I'm sure many of you know Deepak Chopra has written many books, yeah? And Deepak Chopra says, true success is when you are growing daily. Daily, you're getting better and better. Daily, you learn something new. Daily, you pick up something new. And that, he says, is true success. But I want to finish up with one more success in the rich people's zone. Huh? It's about Stephen Covey. Stephen Covey is the guy who wrote a book called Seven Habits of Highly Successful People. I don't know whether you have read the book. Uh, but I'm sure many of you are aware of it. Eh? Seven habits of highly successful people. And Stephen Covey says, Stephen Covey says, true success is if you have achieved what people are going to talk about you at your funeral. Okay, I repeat that. Eh? He says, true success is if you have achieved what people are going to talk about you at your funeral. So at your funeral, if people are saying, oh my God, he was an amazing, loving man. Oh my God, he is such a generous man. And, and, and that's, that is something you always wanted to hear, then you're successful. And that's what he says. Because at the end of the day, whatever you have, whatever you do, at the end of the day, it's about what, what are people going to say when you're no more around. Agree? So I, I think this is how they define success. But I've already told you, I think our true definition of success, the way I want you to listen and understand me is, that you need to get this 15 prosperity. So if you're listening to me for the first time today, please go and check all my videos in the last 15 days uh, from YouTube and you'll know exactly what I'm talking I'm going to repeat that shortly, but you can also go and visit that. But before that, I want to talk to you about uh, how do you become successful? Assuming that um, you want to know the methodology, how to become successful, there are some tips you can follow. A lot of successful people follow these tips, 10 tips I'm going to share with you. Huh? 10 tips a lot of successful people follow. So for you to be able to achieve the 16 prosperity or 15 prosperity and become successful, maybe you need to follow this uh, 10 steps. Okay, let me talk about the 10 steps. Yeah, Number one, you must be able to organize yourself properly. That means on a daily basis, you must be able to organize your time, organize your work, organize your schedule. You need to not waste time because successful people don't waste time. Successful people are they're very busy and they're, they're occupied. They're very productive. So number one is, if you want to be successful, you need to make sure that you organize yourself a lot. Very, very important. Very well organized. Have a planner, have a calendar. You know what time to get up. You know what time to uh, you plan yourself. Huh? Number one. Number two, if you want to be successful, you must be someone who knows how to relax. Meaning to say, you need to know that it's, it is stressful to work and do things. But at the same time, you need to be able to sit down and be able to relax. You know how to Maybe sit down and watch TV or sing, listen to music. I, I relax a lot by listening to music. I love songs. I love music. So I listen to a lot of music and songs that makes me feel very calm. When I do work, also, I'll put like just before I started to talk, I had my songs on. I was listening to songs. I was doing work because I just learned to relax because I don't want to keep myself occupied. And the other thing I do is, of course, I keep repeating Hopon 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 is already inside. I keep telling, you know, I love you. I'm sorry. I'm thank you all the time. But that is the way to relax because. You cannot be successful if you are stressed and always stressed. You cannot do that. Okay. Number three, you must be action oriented. Okay. You must be action, not just um, planning and planning and planning. And like you know, uh, uh, I want to I want to go on a weight loss program, Mr. Kati. I want to go on a weight loss program. Um, okay. I think by, by starting from tomorrow, I'm going to do this lah. Then it's like, oh, but tomorrow is the nine. Uh, tomorrow is seventeen. Huh? If I lose, start doing on seventeen, I cannot calculate that. Huh? Okay, okay. I think I'll start from 1st September. I see how people are not action-oriented. They always will, but won't do. Um, I think I will start on Monday. I think I'll start next week. Oh, I think I'll start when Malaysia has got a new prime minister. I see that kind of thing. Okay? So people tend to not action-oriented. Number four, you must have clear goals. What are your goals? Health. How, what is your weight supposed to be? Money. How much money you want to have in the bank? Work. What level you want to reach? Business. How big do you want to grow? Clear goals. Clear goals. If you say things, you know, you, you cannot get into a taxi, taxi, and the guy says, uh, where do you want to go? And you say, wherever you want to take me, you take me. And I say, people say, stupid. 
get into taxi, don't know where you want to go, right? So same thing with goals. You must have goals in life. You must know clearly what you need to do. That's why when you do go through my law of attraction program, I talk about uh, vision board and affirmations and clear goals. Yeah. Okay. Number five, you must you must have take we must take care of yourself. You want to be successful in life. You, you must take care. Take care in terms of health. Take care in terms of your appearance. Take care of your clothes you wear. When you go out, you see, somebody, there's, there's someone who, every time she looks at me and she'll tell me, Mr. Kati, you know, I, I love your dressing. You, you know, you always wear a coat, you know. I love your blazer. I wear it as a, because I'm very professional because I want to make sure that people, but the moment they see me with a coat, and I'll say, wow. Because there are a lot of people who come for a Zoom meeting, they're on a T-shirt, la, sleeveless, la, or they just change it. You see, listen, I respect every one of you who's watching me. I wear a coat every day because I respect you. And I want you to know that I'm very professional. And that's personal care. That's personal care. Personal care is that, that kind of an attitude you have, whereby you take care of yourself. You know, you know when I see sometimes Zoom where people say, uh, top look very personal, then they wear sarong, la, wear shorts. La. No, I make sure when I do it, I wear my coat, my pants, my, my pants, my shirt, tuck it in. I am very, very formal. Why? Personal care. Because you know why? Your soul will know how you take care of yourself how you dress up, whether you shave. Every day I shave. Why? Because I want to take care of myself. So personal care is very important for success because it shows that you love your soul, you love your body, you love yourself. Number six, you need to be good at networking. That means you must be good at having friends, networking with people so that you your, your knowledge will grow. I learn a lot from people. When I mix with people, I learn from people. I, I learn a lot of things. I, I you know, um, pick up new things. I've got people who send me videos, will send me ebooks. I learn, you know, and I'm never like enough. Even now, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I had a wonderful uh, couple, Dr. Usha, Dr. Viji. They sent me a new book on uh, on Ho Oponopono to read, and I'm so excited. And I, I done a, a, like a doctorate and the Ho Oponopono. This is a book that, like, oh my God, you know, I, I'm so hungry to read. You know, the book. At the moment, I got it earlier, I started reading. So I need you to know that it's called you have good friends who give you the support, good network. Number seven. You need to have financial intelligence. I did a talk last month about financial intelligence. You know, I only charge 30 ringgit. I know many of you attended, but not all of you attended. It's a sad thing um, because people sometimes don't pay attention for such things. I was not selling anything or not promoting anything. I was just telling people how to become very successful financially. It's a two and a half hour talk. I know a lot of people are very, very happy with my talk, but you need to seek that kind of knowledge. I also uh, tell about the books you should read. So you got to do that. And number Eight, early riser. You need to wake up early. You really, really need to wake up early. You need to wake up early because you want to start the day early and finish the day with, with, with excitement. There's so many things. You don't want to waste time. Huh? Early riser. That's why Robin Sharma has got something called a 5 a.m. club. Huh? Number nine, to be successful, you need to share your knowledge. Like what I do now. Yes, I charge money for some things I share. I do. The one is because I feel sometimes people need to give what you call a guru tachana in order to learn some specific things that they, they they want to learn. And people need to have that kind of value attitude where I want to pay to learn something. But at the same time, there are a lot of things I share. If you go to my Facebook, uh, my, my YouTube channel, or even Facebook, you go to YouTube, I got 80 over videos. You know, it's all free. And I'm sharing everything I needed to share. And, uh, you know, like the 16 prosperities, or I'm going to... So I need you to know you have to have that attitude of sharing because that's when success comes. Because when you give and people bless you, more things will come in. And finally, uh, you need to be a reader. Honestly, I, I, I don't know why I showed you this book just now, but I am a reader and I find that it's very, very important. Either ebook or this book, a physical book, but you must read. You must read. Because when you don't read, you think about who is the next prime minister, what's happening to the country, what is the big situation, and you read all kind of nonsense. But when you read a book, you tend to pick up knowledge that's going to enrich you. I'm talking about uh, non fiction, not fiction books, eh? non fiction books that enriches you all the time on self-improvement and whatever. Right? So these are the 10 tips of successful people that I've picked up from when I read a lot of these things and they, this is the 10. Okay, like I'm going to finish up by telling you today that my friends, that are for you to become successful, in conclusion, you need to have 15 prosperities. What are the 15? Uh, based on the last 15 days, first is the intelligent part where you need to have education and you have uh, wisdom. Okay, this is the two prosperities I already covered. In, the, in terms of your body, you need to take care of your health, your youthfulness, and your longevity. Okay, health, 
youthfulness and longevity. These are the three uh, prosperity I covered eh, over the years. In order for you to be good, uh, change yourself, you know, to be a better person. You want to change yourself, you're a better person. You need to, you need to have courage, perseverance, talent and skills, character, respect and fame. These are all uh, the prosperities I've covered. And finally, in order for you to be successful, if you have all these other things, you will have the four very important things that many of us are seeking for. Goal, material comfort, property, and good children. These are considered four prosperity. But to reach four, you need to look at everything else in the, in the 15 prosperities that I spoke about. Okay? So with that, I just want to say thank you very much, everyone, for being with me for the last 15 days. Uh, last six now now today with today is 16 days thank you very much and i i'm very blessed and i'm very um, lucky that you are willing to come on the dot eight o'clock every day with sex of one day and watch me uh, god bless you all and take care of yourself and uh, hope to meet you someday when we are able to meet thank you very much everyone love you all take care bye bye and i wish you um, all the best and i hope you'll achieve the 16 prosperities in your life too thank you bye bye